I don't clear my sinuses, I'll snore all night. Jeez, if a kid spills his milk, what do you do, slap him upside the head? What? What is that supposed to mean? Well, you're not a very tolerant person. You've been under my skin since New York, starting with ripping off my cab. God, you're a tight ass. How would you like a mouth full of teeth? Oh, and hostile, too. Nice personality combination, hostile and intolerant. That's borderline criminal. Screw you! You spill beer all over the bed, you, you smoke, you, you mess up the bathroom. Well, who let you stay in the room? I had to let you pay for it, so this way you wouldn't look like an intruder, which you most certainly are. Oh, oh, I'm an intruder? Yes, you're an intruder. I was having a perfectly nice trip until you walked into my life. Oh, I walked into your life? Who was that? I kept chatting my ear off on the plate. Who was that? I'm curious. Well, who told you to book a room? I did that, the kindness of my dumb old heart. Boy, you're an ungrateful jackass. Well, go ahead, sleep in the lobby. See if I care. I hope you wake up so stiff you can't even move. You're no saint. You got a free cab, you got a free room, and someone who will listen to your boring stories. I mean, didn't, didn't you notice how while you were talking to me on the plane, I, I, I started reading the vomit bag? Didn't, didn't that give you some kind of clue? Like, hey, maybe he's not enjoying it? You know, not everything is an anecdote. You have to discriminate. You choose things that are funny or, or mildly amusing. You're a miracle. Your stories have none of that. They're not even amusing accidentally. Hey, uh, honey, I'd like you to meet Del Griffith. He's got some amusing anecdotes for you. Oh, and here's a gun so you can blow your brains out. You'll thank me for it. Sheesh. I, I can tolerate any insurance seminar. For days, I can listen to him go on and on and on, and I can just sit there with a big smile on my face. And I can say, how do you stand that? I said, because I've been with Del Griffith. I can take anything. You know what they'd say? I know what you mean. The shower curtain ring guy. Woof. It's like, it's like going out with a chatty Kathy doll. I suppose you have the string in your chest to have to pull and I gotta snap back. Well, it's not me that pulls and snaps back, it's you. <laughs> and, you know, when you're telling these stories, here's a good idea. Have a point. Because it makes it so much more interesting for the listener. You want to hurt me? Go ahead, if it makes you feel any better. I'm an easy target. And you're right. I talk too much. But I also listen too much. I could be a cold-hearted cynic like you. But I don't like hurting other people's feelings. You can think what you want about me. I'm not changing. I like... I like me. My wife likes me. My customers like me. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. 